How's it? I'm Paul from That Brewing Company. This is Becky. We're busy brewing today and we're just going to show you what the brewing process is about. We're busy with the masher, big pot of porridge. We steep the grain, extract the sugars for the fermentation. A very, very sweet malt drink. Thereafter, we send it over to the kettle. From here, we'll boil it up. We add the hops in here to give it some flavor and aroma. It's like adding your spices when cooking. Thereafter, we send it into the fermentation. From here, we'll add our yeast. The yeast will eat the sugars up, create alcohol, and add beer. Put the grain and the, and the water, Mr. Beta, we call it a wet. Okay, so yeah, at that brewing company, a normal brew day involves us taking the milled grain, doughing it in, so that's mixing it with hot water, and during that process known as the mash, we have a conversion of the starches into sugars. Those sugars are extracted, then we boil that up for an hour to 90 minutes, and there we add our hops. After the boil, we cool it down rapidly, we transfer it into the fermentation vessels, there we pitch the yeast. Once the yeast is added, we now have beer and the brewing process is over and we're, over, we, we're starting the fermentation process. So the brew takes about eight hours, the fermentation takes up to two weeks. Thereafter we go to the conditioning phase. But once we've done there, we transfer from the fermentation side to the bright beers. Here we make sure the, the beers are ready for packaging. So if it needs more carbonation or nitrogenation, this is where we'll do it. And then after we package that off into kegs, bottles or cans. So in the brewing process the way we create alcohol is by extracting sugar from the malted grain. So these grains, the starchy little grains, we add hot water to it at very specific temperatures and there's a conversion that happens and converts the starches into sugars which are fer fermentable. So the more grain we add, the more sugar there is the more sugar there is, the more alcohol we can create. So in a nutshell, that's how we control the alcohol content of beer.